Good news that there seems to be an endless supply of new tech and CES 2024 show hasn't disappointed. The Consumer Electronics Show always delivers some outside-of-the-box tech ideas and Van Powers is one of them. After meeting Van Powers team and checking the new models, going over the new features and specs with their team, we ask if we can borrow these two new models for a test ride and see how these new bikes perform and make a first ride impression review and get the feel of these new models so I can do a follow up video and share with you. We were told that these are new prototypes and they're not ready to be tested and some models don't even have the battery inside and probably not a safe thing to do and not a good idea to ride them. I told them I'll be riding slowly, I'll be very careful, I'll be safe and somehow we convinced them to borrow the e-bikes and return them the next day early in the morning before the show starts so there's no issues. And they can present them the next day with the CES audience. Okay, perfect. All right, let's go. After 6 p.m. we picked up the bikes from the show and we got to the strip looking for GPS directions here to return to the hotel and it got so cold and so windy. We decided to head home, drop the backpacks and from this location to the hotel and driving around I covered about 16 kilometers and after that I did another 10 kilometers so maybe total a little bit over 16 miles in the evening. You can see here the mid-drive off-road version has a throttle and my friend is cruising at 20 miles an hour and he is kind of pushing a little bit on the hard side. I'm barely pedaling and I'm able to get to 21, 22 miles an hour, stay ahead without pushing too much effort. This cool frame design and this racing four position with stretch thin shapes of this frame it is so aerodynamic it cuts through the air so easy the fin tires reducing the contact with the road propels the bike much faster this bike glides so smoothly this is the first brand that is making a smart electric road bike and this new cross urban it is crazy light and despite being a prototype it works so well i have not been so excited for a while the bike feels really good we have a 250 watt motor on this prototype and it's limited it will come in class 2 and class 3 configurations i'm able to push past with the resistance and from this motor from this setup i was able to gain 44 kilometers an hour that's about 26 to 27 miles an hour which is pretty fast i'm pretty sure or as a class 3 if you remove the limitation I can push this bike close to 40 miles an hour easily because the bike is so light and the way the frame is constructed and the drop down handlebars allow you to pump and gain speed so fast and so easy the motor also helps here so much in a boost mode this bike is a beast this bike gives you excitement and performance allows the bike to slice through the air and it's perfectly balanced and leaves nothing to be desired it is a fast responsive race bike you don't get the latest Shimano drive here but the one that comes with it which is pretty good and the bike is priced affordable under $2,600 you get a carbon handlebars fork and a seat post it's a great value package this bike it's perfect for workouts if you're not a big fan of the drop bars you can swap with the regular handlebars the frame design is ergonomic and so well balanced here this is a medium size which should be small for my height and uncomfortable i feel so much control and i can extend my legs completely ride normally relaxed at around 20 to 22 miles an hour the seat post is so long i had extra three to four inches to extend higher if i needed to the shifters the drive is so smooth even rapidly shifting it does not grind or skip super smooth action and the power assist it's well differentiated in speed levels we have a torque sensor that engages the power once you touch the pedals i rode multiple carbon road bikes non-electric but this new cross urban bike it's near perfect you can turn off the assist and have a regular road bike but if you need the power if you want to go fast or if you're tired this bike has the power available at your fingers. You can swap tires and make it a gravel bike or swap with aero carbon rims and make it a very fast road bike. All components are high quality. The bike is really well built, I had so much fun. It was really hard returning it back to the booth. I wanna keep it longer and just keep riding. Actually, let's check how much we cover with the bikes. Um, I don't have too much time to test and review fully but we only have a little bit of time in the evening and a little bit of time tomorrow morning. And so far, uh, these are the controls here on the side. Um, and uh, you have top oh, button, uh. top button, you know, uh, go up in speed and lower button down the speed. And here, the mid button is for settings. So let's see. Uh, you have eco, 
and off. off. So the lower Speak part, off. the speed Post settings, I rode and boost and you have here odometer 16 miles, 16 kilometers. Uh, we have here time 29 minutes, average speed 21 kilometers an hour, let's see maximum speed 41.7 and the bike is locked to 20 miles an hour. If you push a little harder you get 26, 25. We have to figure out tomorrow with the brand how to unlock it because it can go much faster. And you have here last trip 10.5 kilometers. So I did uh, about six, a little bit over six miles and it still has 79% left and going fast all the time pretty much. And this here shows the range. And the, this are, are the, you know, the, the settings and what you see on the screen. Very easy to read. It's quite compact, but uh, very, you know, uh, easy just to like look at it and see exactly the specs you need. It's kind of hard to see the boost. I kind of have to get closer. Uh, the, also the battery capacity, but it's not bad. Like, uh, you know, go fast. Speed is very easy to, to see. Um, handlebars, carbon fiber, uh, the seat post, like all the bike, it's super light and it's so easy so agile so maneuverable now uh, let's power off the bike power off so this is what it does now so i tried to move the bike and it's making this noise and now i don't know if you heard the click the rear tile is locked in, so you can't, you can't move the bike. But looking here, you look, that's it, it's locked. So you can't really ride the bike. I mean, the bike is light, so you can pick it up and run with it, or you know, you can still steal it, but it's not gonna be rideable. And you have this uh, new option, this uh, mechanism here that actually locks the, the hub, so you cannot use it until you unlock the bike from the console and I think there's an app uh, I don't have it access to it so you can control remotely so you can lock it remotely and nobody will be able to ride this bike which is really good anti theft feature charger connected this is pretty cool this is a prototype it's not the final production version but still so well done it's so fun to ride so I cannot wait to uh, get the final production for you go for all the features and settings and share with you but this bike is awesome. And uh, tomorrow we'll get a chance to ride this bike more and uh, tell you more about this bike. It has also a lot of cool similar features that you're gonna find on this model. Now, let's take a closer look at the Grand Teton. It will come in two versions, rear hub 500 watts geared and M600 mid-drive 500 watts. The battery will be 692 watt hour capacity. Torque on the mid drive will be 130 newton meter and the hub version 80 newton meter, which is standard. So the hub drive will be geared and can output close to 1000 watts peak. It can do 28 miles an hour as a class 3. I tested it off road and suspension is great with plenty of travel and has lockout and rebound adjustments. The Grand Teton will come with all the smart features that the road bike was presented with. And you'll have on this model a ton of accessories that make this off-road bike perfect for long off-road rides. So you can pack so much and this will be perfect for those nomads looking for doing cross-country rides. This is something I have never seen on any other e-bike and this will be super cool to have on all the models. Motion detection, GPS, over the updates and this new SOS feature. If you have an impact and the bike will send a request for help in case if you have a bad fall and you're far away from the city, or your programmed location if you're doing a cross-country trip or stuff like that. The bike will send a help request to whomever you program into the module. The frame is really cool, you'll be able to get a seat post dropper for those looking for adventure and more extreme off-roading. High quality components on this bike, the mid-drive and the torque sensor makes up for a super smooth ride. The model was locked at 20 miles an hour but from 0 to 20 acceleration it's very fast and dies down at 20 miles an hour. I could not test the range and hopefully we get the chance to do that later when the model is available. But you can add a second battery on the top of existing one into the frame, you have mountings there which should remove the range anxiety. 
I like the pannier system on the Grand Teton. The rear rack is solid and you can install front and rear fenders. Seamless integration of the mid-drive into the frame, beautiful lines and a custom drive that looks great. All parts seems to be custom made and this rear shifter guard, it's so cool, so simple designed and looks so modern. We have a high-end quality rear derailleur and under handlebars a cube shifter. All parts are not cheap and well balanced. The smaller pouch and the water bottle are very handy. The components are top-notch, comes with big disc brakes and hydraulic tector brakes. All around a beautiful off-road hardtail fat tire e-bike. I like the road bike more since I live in a city and this type of training racing type bike is more appealing to me. But if you're in the country or a ranch, this Grand Teton is a great option to consider. The accessories are awesome. You'll not find this variety on any other brand unless you buy aftermarket parts. But the smart features are unique and very useful here. The frame looks appealing. So different from any other off-road fat tire you bike I've tested so far. The saddle and the ergonomics of the frame are very good. At the first test it felt great, both bikes are unique with new features. This year at CES 2024, I think to me Van Powers had shown the most advanced and the best looking bikes of the show, also priced very reasonable. And they added their own touch and make these bikes original and the new smart features that you're not going to see on any other bike also make a big difference in the user experience. I had a blast testing them. Van Power team, thank you so much for letting us ride them and test them. guys. Let me know what you think and how you like the direction Van Powers is taking on the new models in the comments below. I think Van Powers will appreciate and take in consideration any input you have. Thank you Van Powers team for giving away one of the Urban Glide models at the CES 2024. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and share this video and I'll see you next time.